you're conscious of me sitting here doing this, right? Yes. Good. So you know what it's like to be conscious, correct? Even though you don't know anything about consciousness, you know what it's like. You know what it's like to be conscious. Yeah. Good. All right. Now, can we agree that you're conscious of thoughts? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're conscious of thoughts. It's good ones, bad ones, not so bad ones, not so good ones. Thoughts. You're conscious of thoughts. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to flip that. And I want you to ask yourself the question, are thoughts conscious of this that's conscious of thoughts? Because you just said you're conscious of thoughts. Now I want you to flip it. Ask yourself, is the mind, are thoughts conscious of this that's conscious of thoughts. Look. Look. No. Because if, if it was, you'd be experiencing two points of consciousness, wouldn't you? Now, a moment ago, we both agreed that to have an experience, we need to be conscious, right? Yes. Okay. Now, you just discovered the mind, thoughts, are not conscious. Now, if that's the case, what the hell is the story of Laurie about if the mind, if thoughts, can't experience consciousness? What's the story about? Certainly not an experience. What's the story about? Notice I'm using the word story. What's the story about? The story of Laurie. Yeah. Remember, the mind can't experience anything. The reason it can't experience anything is because it's not conscious. And yet, it's the mind that says, I feel happy or I feel sad. But the mind can't experience that. So the energy that I feel, because there's, there's something there I feel. Good. And then the thought is, is what creeps in and, and and tries to say, well, this is why you feel it. Or yeah, or this is what you're feeling. It makes up a story. Oh, my God. It makes up a story because oh. the mind itself can't experience anything. It just makes so up a story. What is this, so what is this energy? What is this emotion then? Or Good. Good. <laughs> you could say, what is this aliveness? What is this beingness? What is this consciousness? What is this awareness? What is this aliveness? What is this? Because up till now, you've been calling this Laurie. And it's not. It's that that Laurie has been seeking, trying to find just this, just this. The lorry character can never experience just this. Why? Because the lorry character is just a pattern of thoughts. It's just a story about an apparent lorry character. I was born such and such a year. My mum's name was this. My dad's name was this. I had siblings or I didn't have siblings. The first school I went to was blah, blah, blah. And then a big story starts to get created. Added to, added to, added to. It's just a story. You know, like you, you can have... See, I'm what I'm trying to get you to see is the story...
story about reality is not reality. The story about reality is not reality. It's a story about, about reality. Okay? Now, because the mind can't experience reality, it takes the story to be reality. It can't mm. experience the actual reality, the actual here-ness, the actual beingness, the actual aliveness, the actual love to be. It can't experience that. It creates a story and then takes the story to be reality. <laughs> That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Boom. <laughs> so what is this? Why do we even have it then? Have what? The thoughts. Good. What? Who's good? Who's having the thoughts? Why do we even have them? When you say why do we even have them, whom were you referring to when you said why do we even have them? What we's are you referring to when you say that? As humans, we as humans. What's that? Here we go again. <laughs> What's that? We as humans. Who says you're a human? What says you're a human? Oh, my gosh. Oh, shit. This is Dude. tripping me out. Good. It's okay. You spotted it. It's good. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, oh, it's great. You you caught it. Good. You caught it. And also, it also the mind also just said we. What we's? Non-dual is one. Mm -hmm. We gets created by mind. You understand that the only place duality actually happens is with mind. In the absence of mind, in the absence of it, all thoughts cease. Just zero thoughts happening. Guess what happens to duality? It disappears. It collapses. It, it collapses. Yeah. Precisely. So it's only the mind, check with me, okay? It's only the mind that says, I'm here and you're there. Two. Me is yes. here and you are there. Mind says that. Yeah? What the hell would it know? What does it know? What can the mind experience? What can the mind experience? It's not conscious. It's not aware. Good, it's got you thinking. Yeah, I... See, somewhere around the age of two years of age, Laurie, mind starts to hijack this presence awareness, this beingness, and the mind started calling it Laurie. And it's been doing that your whole life. And then two and a half years of age and three years of age and there's more conditioning that happens around the lorry character that's being created by the environment that you're in and so on and so forth, yeah? Until you get to here and you're sitting here with me now, yeah? And the mind up to now has still been absolutely saying, it's lorry that's sitting here and it's lorry that's experienced this life that lorry has experienced. The mind says all of that, all of that. It's a story. See, a story is always about someone, isn't it? 
or something always mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah good yeah. then you, ex you examine the story of laurie you go okay who is the story of laurie about and what do you discover the story of laurie is about the story of laurie full stop <laughs> it's just round and round and round and round yeah you're not in there you that i'm pointing to here with me now this actual life force this actual beingness this being that's conscious and aware right now you are not in here in the mind you are the story is not about you stop taking it to be about you it's not about you you are perfectly divine you are perfectly here you are divine spark you are this beautiful conscious beingness this awareness this is you and this you that i'm referring to it's that that must come to see what it's not it's not the lorry character that we're trying to get to see what it's not that doesn't even exist <laughs> it's not a thing it has no mass the lorry character is not an entity it's not alive it's not conscious it's not aware it has no life force the lorry character it's just a pattern of thoughts that gets produced by the mind and when we did the amnesia thing on you and lorry disappeared guess what was left this, the beingness, the consciousness, the awareness. Ba, 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 ba. The only problem is, up till now, you've been taking this to be Laurie. Now, see that it's not possible for this to be Laurie. It's not possible when you start to understand what Laurie is. So when I think that right now as I'm thinking well then what's the purpose it's like that question it's it's the thought it, it's not coming look the, the ultimate it's the mind purpose. trying to find out the mind yeah the ultimate purpose is for you to awaken to your true self to your true nature that's the ultimate purpose that's what this is about that's what this teaching is about. That's the ultimate purpose. Just that. And you, you then you stop creating the me character and stop identifying with the content of the me character. That just happens naturally. Then you just find yourself, bang, right here. Fully lucid, fully awake, fully conscious, fully aware, here, now and living the life that bursts into existence constantly right here, right now. How magnificent. Life happening now. How magnificent. You're not the story. Yeah. And the story, and the story is not about you. The story of Laurie is about the story of Laurie. So it loops in on itself all the time. It's just the mind looping in on itself all the time, recreating itself, recreating the character. And one minute the character's happy and the next minute the character's sad and it's just constantly. <laughs> You're not in there. You're not in there. It's not about you. It's not about you. Yeah. You have to come to see what this lorry character is. You must come to understand what it is. When you see it in an absolute sense, it's nothing but a pattern of thoughts. It's nothing but thoughts. Holy shit. Like that's all it is. Yeah. It loses its power. Completely loses its power. Yeah. And you also come to see it's not about you. It's about itself. Yeah. The mind or the content of the mind or the story is about itself. 
and you're just the pure witness of it. Stop taking it to be about you. It's not about you. You're purely just the witness of it. Like you're witnessing another what, what, person. What about when a thought comes in, right? This thought comes in, provokes an emotion. Like what comes first? Does does the this thought, energy of an... The thought. The thought, thought. And then the emotion. Correct. If you're talking so about, what is this if you're talking If you're talking about emotion, the thought first. So the sensation... Is not what the, it, yeah, the, the sensation is still not what the thought is saying the sensation is. So what is it? Yeah, and it's asking what? Just a sensation. Full stop. If you get a tingle in your in in your 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 right big toe, do you ask yourself, "Oh, what's that about? What's going on there? What's what's?" It's just a sensation in your toe, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. There's a sensation in your chest when you breathe. You can feel a sensation in your chest just when you breathe. Do you go, oh, what's that sensation about? What's that sensation about? You don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> yeah. Since all sorts of sensations that get experienced in the body, and then the mind steps in and labels it, it might label a particular sensation fear. You go, oh no, now I'm fearful. No, it's just a sensation. Mm. Yeah. So that the mind, the mind can't experience any sensation. So what the mind is saying, the sensation is, can't be true. Because the mind literally cannot experience the sensation. Can't experience it because it's not conscious. So all these little points that we've covered today, yeah? Yeah. I'm glad we've recorded it. I'll send you the link as soon as we're done, yeah? Watch this. Watch it over and over and over again yeah until you feel like getting back in communication with me let's see where you are next time we next time we connect yeah Good. that that you're looking for is already here that's good news that's the good news so it doesn't need to be found. Yeah, it's already here. Yeah, all you've got to yeah. do is un unravel what you're not. That's all. That's what enlightenment is about. You know, all these big spiritual realizations that are people having. Yeah, it's about that coming to understand what you're not. Yeah, because yeah. listen. Yeah, yeah, listen. Everybody's on this path to discover what. Listen, their true self. Now, if we're on the path to discover our true self, what the hell does that say about current self that's seeking true self? It can't be true. It can't be true. <laughs> Trying to discover true self. Who or what would be trying to discover true self? Not true self. What's not true self? The thinking mind. Yeah. That's all. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> You're all right. You're okay. It's a hell of a story that's going there. I get it. <laughs> yeah, like I get it. Yeah. yeah. You're okay. You're actually okay. Yeah. Remember mm -hmm. what I first got you to do, look around the room. Yeah? yeah. 
Every time you don't feel okay or you're in doubt, just stop, pause, yeah, and do a reality check. A reality check. Yeah. Stop wherever you are and look around. Just look around and see if you can find anything wrong. See if you can find anything to be fearful of. See if you can see anything to be sad about or yeah. Because the reality is you're right here. Here. You're not in here. <laughs> you're here. So you do a reality check. And just check, yeah. Look under it's under your seat, under the look. Just look. You're you're checking to see if what this is saying is true or false. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check. You can do it a hundred times a day. Do you know what I mean? Just every time you sort of go, oh, just hold on, pause. Yeah. And after a while, you start to discover, oh, my God, this is so full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> it so doesn't tell the truth. It absolutely so doesn't tell the truth, yeah? And yeah. You, start, you start to not give it the power that it once had. Yeah. You start poo-pooing it, you know what I mean? Oh, mm -hmm. really? Like, really? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. We've got to go. Thank you.